First blood! The dark daddies! Out! Goodbye! Born in it, you're Ooh. done. Dead head hurt. All that matters, Radiance Middle Tower is losing its foundation. Invisibility. Rampai, because they can make the place happen elsewhere on the map. Silent finds the last hit on that tier one tower in the mid lane with the battle chance. Now they'll take the fight. Whirling Axes fly through. FNG could be the first to go down. Chaotic offering breaks things up, but the snowball mitigating some of it. Lil Hardy and FNG low. They'll trade the troll away. Also lose the Witch Doctor. Aloha Dance now on the run as he uses that Walrus Punch. It'll be a two for three going the way of the Dire as the Chaotic offering and the Bruce split secure them a victorious team fight. Yep. Got that, uh, that little snowball chasing you. Empire rotating down to the bottom lane. They will defend this tier one tower if Aces Polar continue to hang around. Yoki's on the way in. Aloha Dance hiding in the tree line, starting things off with the sigil. Here we go. Snowball forward. Brewmaster comes in with the split. Ultimate from Zeus, but they're going to try to focus FNG. Yoki actually oh, pay, pump, pump fakes the, bl or the axe ultimate. A one for one out of the gate. They'll isolate the invoker. It's not looking so good for Aces Polar here, Parker. They're on the back foot, and Empire, they're gonna chase him down. The Sigil falls, but is it gonna be worth it? I don't think so. Illidan goes down, Yogi blinks forward. There's the dunk on Little Hardy, and it'll be a one for three trade as Empire hold their tower and take a successful team fight. Yeah, the vision we have right now, they know yes. exactly where Aces Polar are. I don't know if this bolt on the big, I think he bolted the big clip, but it doesn't reach where this ward is. This ward, the, the wards have been basically planted to avoid getting dewarded. Sure, this isn't the optimal spot, but it gives you vision. Yep. Here we go. Initiation. Mag gonna get jumped on by Yogi. He'll go down. He misses the dunk, but they still find the kill. Silent zoning out the rest of Aces Polar by himself, using that Aegis Immortal to much avail. Goes and on to FNG, the chaotic offering, but is it gonna be enough? Blitz slows down Empire. And it's just not gonna be enough here, Parker. Raid King goes down. Lion falls down the snowball onto Illidan. He's on the run. Ice shards lock him in place. Walrus punch again for good measure. A four for nil. Aces Polar might be forced to tap out early. They have, they need, the only way they stood a chance to even get an even trade there was with Split and Chaotic Offering. They only had the Chaotic Offering. With Brumas getting picked off at the start of the fight, Empire knew regardless of how many ultis they threw at him, they win the fight. Chaotic Offering alone was not going to do enough for Aces pull up. Yeah, there is a buyback available for Warlock, but without the Chaotic Offering, only so much you can do. Brewmaster has respawned. You mentioned the Split is still here, but will that be enough? It's level 1 ulti. He really, he still doesn't have level 11, actually. Oh, he's 23 experience short. Now the split with the snowball to mitigate some of it. The stun from Aces Polar focusing resolution. Another stun from FNG. Empire trying to disengage a little bit. They burned the Aegis. Now Silent full health, full mana goes charging in. Finds a kill onto the Lion. Lil Hardy hit by the Whirling Axe is going to be forced to disengage. Mag as well as he goes back into the brute form. Fatal Bond from Illidan. The dunk now onto the Wraith King. He'll have the ultimate. Reincarnation brings him back to life. Now they turn to the brew. Walrus Punch. More Whirling Axes. They lose their Tusk. And I think Empire may need to make the Exodus now. Yoki taking some damage. Zeus bursting him down. Gets stunned by the Wraith King. Yoki falls. And finally, Aces Polar. Get some recovery as they pick off a few of the Empire stragglers. Yep. And then just go for round two when those ultis are on cooldown. Reincarnation, finger, split, everything with a massive cooldown. Silent going on to Lil Hardy up top, tries to TP out, but there's the walrus punch from Aloha Dance, showing off that new blink dagger. Yep. Yoki. Blink Dagger at the ready, hops over the ravine, looking for some initiation, goes on to FNG, gets x right away, but now the cavalry has arrived, Mag goes flying in, but he doesn't have an ultimate, no split means the lion goes down, Mag stunned, hit by the death ward, there's the chaotic offering, there is an ag in him, so there's double golems, but they've already lost the brewmaster, it's a 3 for nil already, Illidan falls, and at this point, the golems just don't do enough damage, BKB from Silent has come out, he's a little bit low, but he'll survive. Tower, possibly more. If Yoki can find a blink hole on someone, get a pick off, turn it into just a numbers Dyer's game as far as heroes go, then you're looking really good. Feed. Tier 3 tower goes Dyer's down. Blitz already been used. Focus trying to do what little chip damage he can. Has a Yule Scepter, but recognizing that if they jump on him, there's little he can do to survive. 
The melee barracks very low. One more axe from the troll, and then a few of those auto attacks from the forge spirits. Finish it off, and again, Empire happy to get the melee barracks, and then back on out. I think Empire's doing unique magic damage. Smoke from Aces Polar on a couple of their heroes. Little Hardy will be in the front line looking at Radiant Vision. They only see the Wraith King. They don't see the smoke heroes yet. There isn't a glyph, so this tier three tower falling pretty quickly. Necro units in the front lines. Empire. Showing some respect here with a lot of heroes off the map. They know there could be a smoke, maybe a rotation from the backside, and they'll stay safe. Mag comes in, Thunder Clap does not connect on too many. Oh, no. Tries to get off the split, but he gets stunned, still manages to get it off. The Chaotic Offering comes out, but they've already killed Nilden. They get the kill on Invoker, he'll buy back. Now Will Hot Dance goes down as Will Hardy gets aggressive. FNG brought down by Silent Phobos, caught and decapitated. Will Hardy will not have the mana for reincarnation, and this dire side getting cleaned up. Their last bit of buybacks coming out. Ultra kill for Silent as Ace is polar. Tap out in Dyer's game number one after only 25 minutes. Oh boy, complete rounds. Domination. A performance from Empire. Getting the troll axe, they were just like sweet. The axe, <laughs> they they always make sure he has a lane where he can farm. And troll is an amazing hero to have in a tr offensive trial lane as well. Fighting this hero in an offensive trial lane very difficult. Wraith King not leveling up the stun. You've also got the sun.